Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last tutorial, we modeled this sword in Maya and exported the OBJ to texture in Substance Painter. And today we are going to texture it in Substance. So let's start with the texturing. So we are going to go in the texture set settings and go to bake mesh maps. Uh, we are not using any ID map. So let's deselect this and thickness change the output size to 2048. And uh, in the anti-aliasing, let's select 4x4 and click on this bake selected texture. So our maps are baked. So we'll start with the texturing the handle. So let's go back to layer and delete this empty layer. And uh, in your materials, uh, search for leather. And uh, we are going to use this leather bag. So drop it in the layers. Change the projection to triplanar. And let's change the uh, scale. Let's try three. And we're going to change the color. Let's take something like this. Take a new layer and turn off uh, color, metal and normal channels. Increase the roughness to 0 0.8 and add a black mask. Then add a fill. In this will search for scratches. Go back to this layer and decrease the height to minus 0 0.2. And in the Grinch map, increase the scale. And decrease the scratch width. And length. Here in the projection, change it to triplanar and uh, scale to 2. Increase the tiling of these scratches. Now select these two layers and add them in a group rename it as handle leather then right click and uh, add a black mask select this polygon fill change it to uv mode and uh, select this handle Let's go back to that scratch layer and in the height, uh, change the height to 0 0.1 or 0 0.15. Now let's texture these rings and uh, this part of the handle. So take a new fill layer and put it on the top of this group. Increase the metalness to 1 and change the color a little bit, make it a little darker like this. Rename it as base, then add a new fill layer and turn off color, height, metal and normal. Rename it as uh, 
surface roughness then add a black mask and add a fill go to your grunge maps and select this cloud 3 and drop it in the fill change the projection to triplanar and scale to 3 now take another fill layer and rename it as roughness then add a black mask add a fill and this time uh, let's take another grunge map let's select this grunge scratch fine and uh, drop it in this fill change the projection to tri planner Go back to this layer and uh, increase the roughness to 1. Disable metal, normal and height. Change the base color to something more darker. Go to this grunge scratches and turn down the opacity. to 25 now add a new fill layer and rename it as scratches then add a black mask and add a fill search for scratch and select this grunge scratch rough turn off the color metal and normal increase the roughness to 0.6 and height to minus 0 0.1 or minus 0 0.05 now let's go back to this the grunge map and change the projection to cry planner and increase the scale to 3 now add another fill layer and uh, decrease the height metal and normal Increase the roughness to 0 0.5. Add a black mask and uh, add a generator. In this generator, select this uh, metal edge wear. Increase the contrast to 0 0.6. Change the dry planner to true. And go back here, you can change the color a little bit. Make it a little darker like this. And maybe add some height. Let's add uh, minus 0 0.01. Go back to this metal edge wear and increase the wear level. Decrease the contrast to 0 0.45. Now select all these layers and add them in a group. Rename it as handle underscore parts or whatever you want to name add a black mask go to this polygon fill and uh, change it to mesh fill then select this part and these three rings so let's select this uv and uh, we can now select this And for the blade, I'm going to take uh, another fill layer, put it on the top of these groups. 
rename it as base and uh, increase the metallic to one and uh, roughness to 0 0.2 Now add a new fill layer, turn off color, height, metal and normal. Again rename it as surface roughness then right click add a black mask and add a fill. And in this fill, let's select this grunge dust fine and drop it in here and now you can see Settle roughness on this blade. Now add another fill layer and uh, right click add a black mask then add a fill. And in this fill let's take this anisotropic noise. Change the projection to tri planner and increase the scale. Go back to this layer and increase the metallic to 1. And roughness to 0 0.25. Or maybe 2. Now take another fill layer. And uh, turn off the height, metal and normal. Add a black mask and uh, add a fill. In your grunge map, take this grunge scratches and drop it in the fill. Go back to this fill layer and increase the roughness to 0.6 and uh, decrease the opacity of this uh, grunge map. to 25 and rename it as roughness take another fill layer and uh, add a black mask then add a generator and select that uh, metal edge wear go back to this fill layer and increase the metalness to 1 and change the color a little bit darker Something like this. And uh, decrease the roughness to 0 0.2. Go back to this metal edge wear and uh, use tri planner. Decrease the contrast and increase the well level just a little bit 0 0.8. And uh, you can decrease the opacity of this map. Let's change it to 65 or 60. Now select all these layers. And uh, add them in a group. Rename it as blade. Right click add a black mask and go to this polygon fill and uh, select the UVs of this sword and our sword texturing is almost done. Let's do one more thing. Add a new fill layer on the top of these groups and uh, increase the roughness to 0. Eight. Add a black mask and add a generator. Take this dirt generator and uh, use tri planner. Increase the contrast a little. Keep it 0 0.6 and uh, go back to this fill layer and change the color. Do something like this. Make it a little dirty. Go back to this dirt 
generator and uh, decrease the opacity. Keep the opacity to 20. And now our texturing is finished. Now we can export the textures by going to this file and click here export textures. Select your folder. Change the output to document channels plus normal plus AO with alpha if you are using Marmoset to render this. And I'm going to take the size uh, 4K and just leave rest of the settings to default and click on this export. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.